Hello out there YouTube, welcome once again to the OK Good Review channel. And today guys, my very first to me a kit guys and if you have been watching the channel for the different model builds that I do guys you know that I love the Tamiya aerosol paints I love some of the some of the uh, brush paints to an extent as well brush paints I still have not found any one line of course that I love above all others uh, I think uh, model masters has some nice stuff Testers has some stuff that I think is useful and Tamiya has some stuff that is really good and some stuff guys that I struggle with a little bit. So my very first Tamiya actual kit though guys and I got this one because guys I needed something that I could use for the winter guys because I can't go outside and do aerosol and I don't have anywhere inside that I can actually spray stuff. So guys, I needed another one that was colored. So I actually got three, one of them, and you'll see that in a future video guys, one of them was supposed to have been colored black, and of course that meant it was white. And this one is supposed to be white guys, and I really hope it actually is white. So the, to me it's supposed to be higher detail, and so you can see, here's the yellow, Here's the white with gold rims. I'm actually doing this white with gold rims. There is the blue and um, chrome yellow is kind of cool though, guys. I do have a yellow coming up uh, in the near future, guys, so stay tuned for that, guys. Keep watching the model build playlist if you're interested in that. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we have. Uh, decals? Oh, <laughs> we have... Oh, this is the first day I've had that has seatbelt decals, guys. That's cool. Uh, we have a lot of, it looks like, interior parts here. We have a racing seat, it looks like. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, guys. Uh, so this is the road version of a Porsche 911 GT2, uh, the Club Sport. And uh, if it does have roll cage stuff, I'll be deleting that, guys. I'm not. It looks like it does in the picture, but I'm not keeping that, guys. I want this to be a road vehicle not a racing vehicle uh, looks like this is the skid plate is what this looks like uh, got some glass here oh okay so we have rims guys in the picture they're gold so this is good I will be painting those gold guys and it looks like they have the black the inside is black um, maybe doing that guys I'm gonna think about that one though. We got the headlight bezels here. We got uh, dashboards. So apparently you can go. Just you can do black dash. No, I guess it's black. Interesting. So the interior of this is apparently black. The white steering wheel. Huh. So there's a lot of painting on this. Because a lot of these are engine parts. You have your choice of steering wheel. But you can see the exhaust headers there. This is a really clear plastic, guys. I'm I like that. That's cool. Here we got we got the axles mounted to the bottom of the engine. Oh my gosh, guys! This detail is wow, super intense, guys. So uh, painting this could be kind of interesting, guys. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do all that. The shell the shell will stay in plastic for probably the majority of this build. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any areas so that you can see the door handles actually mount separate. Oh wow, this is wild. <laughs> that is really cool, guys. Whoa. Oh, this is an insane level of detail, guys. I'm, I can't get over it. And of course we have racing tires. Very nice racing tires, guys. And, uh, oh, what are those things? See those little tiny? I don't know what those are. So 
something for the wheels, I'm assuming. And of course we have we have an undercarriage. Uh, this is, I'm assuming, where the engine is going to go. So I believe this is a rear engine. And we've got some radiator stuff and roll cages that we will not be using. We've got the louvers here. We've got it looks like spoilers. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Wow, this is intense, guys. Wow, this is really cool. Holy moly, uh, guys, this is. Uh, <laughs> oh wow. This is, uh, as I'm filming this, this is actually the very first model I'm doing in 2019. And guys, I think I have really uh, built myself up a challenge. So there's just different, uh, just different instructions here for the kit, which we won't be using. And of course, let's look at the book. 124 scale, as, as I like to do. But guys, actually, this looks a lot like the 132nd scale that, uh, uh, like the Black Beauty car was. It is a little bit bigger though than the 132nd Aston Martin, guys. And both of those videos are available if you would like to check those out. Let me see if I can get this for you guys. So uh, feel free to pause the screen right here if you are interested in reading this part. One, two, and guys, here is the second part of this. Guys, feel free to pause right here if you would like to read this part. Okay. And so it goes through all the different, so cement, cutter, wow, 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 wow. This is, wow, <laughs> wow, guys, oh my gosh, look at how many pages there is of this. So there are, oh my gosh, guys. 18 pages of instructions, guys, not counting decal application and not counting the different, oh, wow. And it goes through, check this out, guys, check this out. This goes through the actual difference. What? Wow. That is wild. That is wild, guys. I'm tripping out over this thing. And they got license plates that just say what the car is. We'll probably use those. So we got a rear seat. Oh, yes. Okay, guys. Wow. This is so cool. Oh, wow. Guys, look at all. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys. So I might need to. Uh, so I don't have a whole bunch of stuff to cut out when I do editing. I might need to. So cool. Okay, so there are some, you can see guys, I don't know if you can see this, you can see there are some very, very tiny parts that they want chromed out, uh, which I might do, I might not do guys, I'm not sure yet. Uh, it has the flare, flare fenders molded in, which I'm not super in love with those. As you can see guys, so they, the hood pins don't actually even show up here, but there are, couple things here that are crumbed out you can sand down the other things I'm not probably going to be doing that guys that, that's that's a little bit too intense for for what you know kind of what I have in mind here guys uh, where's the taillights they're probably in with the glass somewhere so the taillights we need to paint and oh this is look there's a front spoiler oh, man this is gonna be guys this is gonna be good I hope I hope this is not a disaster I hope I'm up to this so we'll find out. Next step guys, we're going to start painting parts and you'll see that here shortly and then we will do the usual thing with assembly, I think. I might do the assembly on the step by step of this after painting is done just because I almost never use these as written but I have a feeling that Tamiya has really thought this out and so it might make more sense for me to do that guys. Uh, definitely stay tuned to the video, you'll find out whether I actually did that or not. So guys, from here, next step, painting away. Okay guys, so down here in Spider Central and Leo has his, um, Leo has a display set up here for a game he was playing uh, on this second uh, desk, guys. So I need to clean that off to set up my work area, but 
For now, I'm just gonna whip through what we have. So we have the stir sticks, the washout for the water base to me is, uh, some thinner there to wash out the acrylics, clear glue, regular glue, and then we have the usual array of tools here, guys. We have our snipper, we have the emery board. One of the beauties of using the actual regular paint color, guys, is that it cuts down the amounts of paint that, that I need to actually do for this part, guys. So let's look at the paints here. Okay, so we have black, white, green, red. Then we get into some chromes, some golds. Uh, there's multiple, so you can see multiple silvers, multiple golds. Uh, dark gray and metallic gray. And then, of course, clear colors. For the lights, guys, I'm not, I deleted most of those uh, because we're using the actual base color. So instead, what we have is I have gunmetal, which I'll be using for dark gray. And I have metallic gray, which is actually one of the colors they want. I do have chrome. I do have regular silver. I do have gold. Gold I'm probably going to be using only on the rims, though. Uh, we do have these two metallics here, guys. And uh, I do have some black. So one of these two blacks, um, they want a satin black, guys. But I'm probably just going to use the regular black, guys. Uh, I may use the black metallic just so I can use it up. Probably not though. Um, so there we have guys this and I, I think I probably am going to paint the center of the of the wheels. I don't think I'm going to add white. I don't think I'm going to do blue. We've got uh, got a couple different tans here guys. we got a bronze. Bronze might be kind of fun guys. I might use bronze for something. Still, still, I'm still kicking that around a little bit. Uh, I haven't quite decided, guys, totally what color I'm going to use on all of these as of yet. So I'm still, I, I'm inclined to leave a lot of the stuff white that's already white. I think I'm going to go with the white steering wheel, possibly the white steering column as well. I, I'm still, still kind of gravitating towards that, guys. But anyway, so here's the setup, guys. We're all back down in Spider Central at the moment, guys, and... We will be commencing painting here momentarily. And here we are guys, day two. So I decided to forego uh, the actual paint video guys just because as you can see there are a lot of very small parts in here guys and this stuff does not particularly pick up well on camera the way I have to shoot it. So what I've decided to do is just do this a new style this time because you know based on how small the car is. So we're just gonna do it day by day guys. And so today is day two. Day one is all the previous footage you guys have already seen. So today what I did was this is a really cool model guys and I really want to try to push myself a little bit guys on this one so what I'm going to do guys is to try to get as close to perfect as I can with this particular vehicle guys so the idea there guys is that I'm just really going to be taking a lot of time there's the gold so what I'm doing today was I separated a lot, a lot of the parts the ones over here will not get painted I'm also combining things so mirrors the spoiler and I removed a lot of parts which are over here that I will not be using. And so today, I really wanted to get all three of these colors painted. So the gold, the red, and the transparent amber. And so I'm, I'm done with those. I've still got to do silver. And silver is gonna, a lot of these are silver. I went through this whole thing, guys, and blocked out which colors are going where. Uh, I added a color, I added red. Red? So, I'm red. I probably got to paint a little bit of black on some of these other things, a little bit of the grays and metallic grays. Tomorrow my goal is to get the dark grays and metallic grays. I think I want to get those colors done. And possibly also black, which would leave silver, chrome, and so that would be the majority of this. And then I'm going to start putting it back together 
and doing that whole bit. So one of the steps is done already and that is the spoiler. The spoiler is not going to have any color on it. So the stickers guys, I'm not going to use the seatbelts, I'll be using everything else. That probably will be separate after I get everything painted. My goal is to get everything painted and separate it out. So that's kind of my main goal right now. So once I, I'm done with the chrome, I can remove that sprue. Once the paint dries on, the, on this clear one, I can remove that sprue. And then I can just really kind of focus in on the white one, which has, there's not a lot of stuff I'm gonna be painting on that one actually. This one, this one has a little bit more, so some of the gun metals. So I've got that in there, and then of course the blacks. I, I gotta be painting that as well, guys, so that'll be next. But for right now, the rims are done, and this is done, I'm waiting for the paint to dry. And for day three, like I said, we're gonna be trying to get both of the grays, the metallic gray and the gunmetal, and possibly the black and maybe the red also, maybe. Uh, I'm not super, super concerned with that. I, it, I have to kind of do this during the day because in this area of Spider Central, guys, you can see there's no vents anywhere down here. So it gets really cold down here uh, at night. So that's kind of what today was, was sorting through all the parts. It was blocking out all the colors. And now it's just a matter of going through and getting all the paint laid out and uh, just moving forward like that, guys. So I got a new block here, which this painting on this white block, this styrofoam block, is a good move. That has been a really good move, guys. I used to paint on that box right there that this uh, gooseneck thing came in, and I gotta say that it's night and day. <laughs> night and day difference, I have a lot better control on this. So good upgrade there, guys. Like I said, I, it's been a pretty substantial layout since I've done a car that required any sort of detail painting, guys. Um, you can see my three brushes here are tiny, tiny brushes. I need to actually add a third in for some of this other stuff, and I'll choose that one later. But anyway, there it is, guys, day two, and we'll be back for day three. Okay, guys, and here we are, day three. And what I did this time was basically all the silver for the B, the A, and the E, which is this, this, this tree is E, this tree is A, this tree is B. So I basically, guys, have done all the silver. And there you can see the silver. Silver is drying right now, guys. Uh, there's some gold that I also did which you would never see, guys, on discs, <laughs> but that's all right. This is the done panel in here, guys, and all this is, at the moment, finished. I may need to go back and add a little bit of red there to this one. So the idea, guys, was I was gonna do all the solvent painting today for day three, and I've still got red, I've still got chrome to do. Very, very little bits though for those two colors. So the cro the red is going here only on this. I probably will finish that up today if the gold dries in time, guys. And there's a dashboard with stickers. I might try to get to that today. If not, that'll be in day four. And then a lot of this stuff is just interior type things. Over here, same thing. So anything major, guys, I'm gonna try to get knocked out day four. So. I just wanted to try to get the solvent out of the way before I started getting into the water-based pa paints from Tamiya, guys, just because it's not too useful to switch back and forth, I guess, with the brushes, guys. So having two sets of brushes is a pain, guys. I don't really want to do that. So anyway, but there it is. Day three, guys. I probably will finish up red. And then for day four, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna try to get all the watercolors done, guys, and all the stickers done as well for day four. Hopefully by day five, we'll be into assembly a little bit further, guys. Uh, but I'm trying to hold off. This is just absurd, insane, awesome levels of detail, guys. And there you can see uh, I had a little bit of splash with the gold. So I'll fix that, guys, when, when I come and do this. But this, it's been a pleasure, guys. 
it's been this kit has been an absolute pleasure so far guys so I can't say enough about how much I'm digging this this uh, this kit guys you can see all the parts are done perfectly also and it, this is a blast definitely if you guys are really really into this sort of thing get it to me a kit I would say if you're only into a casually for the price point it probably isn't worth the bother guys but if you guys are into all this stuff to this extent definitely definitely guys get the uh, get this to me a paint kit guys or, or any of them because this thing is spectacular anyway there it is guys day three basically just painting painting solvent stuff the, the majority of this is silver the majority of the painting is done at this point guys even though it might not look like it so it's just basically touch up stuff from here and then I'm going to try to get more of the detail stuff out of the way like I said with the stickers in day four anyway guys I'll see you in day four okay guys so here we are day four and you can see everything here is largely painted with the exception of some two-tone work I need to do on the door panels basically chrome chrome is the only color I have left and you can see it's over there hanging out with the um, thinners and that's the thinner brush there here are a couple that I did the water base with I also have kept the Tamiya out in case I run across any more paint errors so I can just fix them. I don't know if you guys can see the one there. Probably not. Some of these I got a little bit of splashback. I got a little bit of accidental brushes uh, on these. So that's the only thing I have left to do is to, is to put the chrome two-tone stuff on, guys, as well as this thing. And, of course, the decals will also probably be tomorrow. And then I'm going to start assembly tomorrow as well, guys. And you can see there's like 20 pages of assembly drawings. So I've already done some of them, but I'm going to start combining stuff tomorrow and uh, we'll kind of see where I'm at. So hopefully, guys, day six or seven, we should be pretty much near the end of this. Uh, again, this is just a total pleasure because there's so much detail work on here. Start of our show. I'd like to say hi. Hi. <laughs> Leo Manic hasn't quite jumped on to to the whole model thing quite yet, maybe he will someday, but the, this is just an absolute pleasure guys, definitely if you get a Tamiya, these things are, are super intense. There was one slight color change guys, I put German gray for the floor instead of the other grays guys. Just more because I, German car, I wanted to use German gray guys, so I wanted to kind of change up the colors a little bit, but, and of course guys, my trademark, right? the gunmetal for the interior guys. Every car I've done so far is a gunmetal on the interior. That's my jam, it's my jam guys. So anyway, day four, we have almost all of the paint completely done guys. So day five will be the stickers right here guys. And it will be the uh, more assembly. So guys, stay tuned for that and we will see you then. Here we are guys, day five. Day five, day five. And guys, paint is now completely done. I decided to go with a little bit of a two-tone look on that, a tri-tone look on the steering wheel. I'm adding a lot of detail guys that you will never be able to pick up once this is assembled. I just really wanted to push myself guys. This so far is going pretty well I'm hoping this will be the closest I have come yet to perfection guys and there's there's some 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 of the models I did last year guys especially towards the end came out really really well guys so I'm, I'm still I'm still kind of pushing myself guys after this one it's going to be probably a six week layoff before I'll be able to do another one and hopefully the temperatures are warm enough by then guys so I'm really trying to Take my time on this one, guys, and uh, hopefully this format is, is cool for you guys to check out and everything. So, we started assembly today, and you can see this is about where we are now. We've got a lot of stuff drying. We've got some things assembled over there. I don't know that there is a lot more I can do. I can probably put the console together, guys. I can probably put 
the steering column together and outside of that and I probably will do that guys at some point later on today outside of that there's really not a lot guys I can do from this point um, I abandoned the stickers I started working on those and then abandoned them because guys these stickers are annoying and I don't like them and I'm not using them so I decided to just go with paint the paint look itself so 18 steps guys I've got six done I'm a third of the way through one of the things I'm noticing guys is I don't like these instructions these instructions are not super super clear for me so I'm not really in love with them but a lot of these guys are once I get the chassis done and flip it over it's gonna go super super fast guys quite possibly I'll be done with this day six guys and day seven will just be a comparison with the box I don't know yet guys I might even it might be able to do that uh, day six guys so hopefully hopefully where I'm in the gluing stage now guys I can actually do a lot more work than I can in painting because painting I can't really do it at night because it's too cold down here in Spider Central glue does not have any such restrictions guys so I actually can do gluing for quite a bit longer guys at this point I'm probably I'm gonna say three ish hours into it guys maybe a little bit more than that I would say I probably still have a solid hour to go. So I think this is going to be a four or five hour model build, guys. But I, of course, it had to be spread over days because you have dry time, guys. And that's really the main, the main part of this. So uh, as you can see, two trees are completely done. And we've just got some door panels there. I've got most of the glass in other than the headlights and a couple other things guys I'll be putting those in probably a little bit later and there's just little things guys that I'm gonna try to get to most of that I'm not at this point really in love with this wheel system guys I'm kind of nervous about it especially this there is not there's an impressive level of detail for what's here guys one thing I've noticed is there is no engine and that's probably because the the section in the back does not open so you can't actually open it to look at the engine so a lot of a lot of interesting differences with Ravel I can't say at this point I like this kit better than a Ravel I will say however that I think it's equal but here we are day five quite a bit of progress guys so guys day six will be coming up next and I will see you then Okay guys, so here we are, day six, and our Porsche is starting to finally shape up. We've got door panels. I had to basically paint these. One of the things I don't like about this kit is you have to use the roll cage, and it holds the dashboard basically, so no way to put a dashboard in there without it. So I cut it down, and I'm painting it the gunmetal color to hopefully it'll work with the panels themselves which are gunmetal as well guys so ground effects spoilers and over here very little left on this one I've just got to put the door handles and the mirrors on and the shell is done I'm not doing that to the last step also have some stickers mainly these GT2's that will also probably be later today and right now I'm waiting for some glue to dry on the interior, I'm waiting for the paint to dry here so I can install the cage and the dashboard and the door panels, guys. But we've I've only got three or four steps left, guys, and that's it. One thing I will say about this is I hate this wheel system. I mentioned that in the conversation about yesterday. It has not gotten any better, guys. This is not a good wheel system. In fact, actually, I think probably only Ravel's wheel system is one that I like. Just the way that this is put in here, guys, is it, kind of poop. Uh, the rims themselves are good. Tires are good. The actual system underneath is just a mess. So not a fan of that, guys, in any way, shape, or form. Outside of that, guys, we're coming along. I will be done with this today. So day six, guys, will be the last day of the actual build itself, guys. And from here, it will be 
the next time guys I come back will be to look at the final vehicle and uh, probably complain again about the wheel system which is just bad so anyway there it is guys day six we have just a handful of things left to do I will do those tonight and guys we will see you next for the final breakdown guys and comparison okay guys and here we are at the end with the completed version of the Porsche Club Sport 911 GT2 and guys here it is driver side the front I do like to not to go with some of the accoutrements I could have from the other side back wheel is a little bit too far back here guys unfortunately and from the back here we are now so one of the some of the panels didn't line up as you can see there's a gap there that should not be there uh, we've got the this basically is a scoop that goes directly into the cabin I don't know if that's part of the car or not. You can see the red of the disc brake pads right through there. And you can see the uh, slight modification I did to the rims for the back versus the front. Very slight. We got the air spoiler there. We've got this one again. This is how I'll be displaying it, guys. So uh, I did not paint the spoiler GT2. I left that kind of white. I like the white out version of these. So I was pretty happy with that, guys. The mirror's slightly cockeyed, not the end of the world. Uh, and the underneath, guys, a very clean look. Very clean look. I will say this, however, I absolutely hate this wheel system. Uh, this was a lot of fighting. The most fighting I had on this car by far was the wheels, wherein I had to do this repeatedly. So, but there it is, guys. Uh, you can see I went with a two-tone, a tri-tone on the steering wheel, two-tone on the dashboard, and also a two-tone cabin. Uh, I did, if you guys saw the earlier versions, guys, you saw that I'm able to mask the roll cage fairly well here, guys. You can't actually see it unless you're looking for it very specifically. So, my goal was to get a car as close to perfect as possible guys I think I came pretty close guys there's still a number of things that uh, I could have I could have done a little bit better on this you can see that there's a little bit of a paint error back there in the taillight section there is some very 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 minor glue marks part of it is to do with the design of this like this is a two part right here right for the exhaust pipe you can see there's a two halves and I didn't paint over it, guys, but I don't understand why that would ever make sense to somebody to say, oh, hey, we should really, uh, we should really um, make that into two, <laughs> two halves. Like, why? For what reason? We have another gap here uh, in, in the, the front spoiler, a little blemish there on the door. So I think it's good. I don't think it's great. But it did come out very well, guys. It hit most of what I wanted it to hit. Uh, I added black, so we have a tritone wheel effect. And, of course, it doesn't... Well, it actually does sit pretty level. So, I was trying, basically, guys, to hit that. So, the thing on the box art. And, and I think... I mean, I think it came reasonably close, guys, as far as display and stuff like that. To me is I think are very very nice model kits. I'm a little frustrated that they're not as I, I think they've got a great reputation, but honestly guys, they're not the super high-end model I was expecting. They're not for having something with that much detail, guys, there's no engine, right? You can't look at anything to do with the engine. You can look at exhaust pipes, but not the engine itself. You can you know, you paint this thing, right? You paint the radiator. I don't know if you guys can even see it. So I did a very high detail on the radiator, which is covered completely by the spoiler. You can see some black. You can see some silver. So a lot of the actually intricate painting, you can't see. It's not visible. 
Uh, one of the issues with having window glass on the on the doors is you start to lose a little bit of the detail. But um, I like this white. It's a good looking white. This this guy is, is going to be great for the area that I have in mind for it. So so that's going to be no problem, guys. It is a little bit bigger than the one thirty second car uh, th that I've done. I was going to have some of those up here for for comparison, but it's. It's very, very similar to the the Green Hornet car. The review for that is up. Uh, but it is definitely bigger than the Aston Martin, guys. Unfortunately, that car uh, has taken a little bit of damage. So uh, it's not really available for me to show you a size comparison at the moment. But that was another one. Airfix has a not a very good tire system. So in my view, guys, the Ravel is probably my favorite tire system. And then everything else is varying degrees of second. But... So anyway, there it is, guys. The final look at the Porsche 911 GT2 Road Version Club Sport from Tamiya, guys. I would still say if you like to do models and you have not done a Tamiya, find one of them and do it because their their instructions are not great, but but the parts are generally, guys, pretty highly engineered and pretty specific and pretty precise. Aside from the minor errors that I mentioned here, guys, uh, I did have to use a clamp on the shell. When I put the shell onto the chassis, guys, which is hit by these ground effect spoilers. So, but that's just part of having the tools, you know, just, just the tools that, and that actually might be where that blemish is from. But that's just a matter, guys, of having the tools for, for serious modeling, guys. You know, you have to have clamps, you have to have probably, I don't know, like eight, maybe more different types of paintbrushes, guys. Uh, I've got two different kinds of glue right down there right now, guys. Uh, I like the thicker stuff for most for for the non glass stuff, but anything that's gonna be highly visible, I use the 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 optically clear drying stuff. Uh, and you can see, like if you look hard enough, you can see some blemishes in the glass a little bit because that stuff is very very runny and it's a little challenging sometimes to use. But realistically, guys, I couldn't have asked for this to come out much better than it did. So definitely, guys, very 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 happy with it. And yeah, there it is, guys. There is the last winter model build, guys. I uh, should be back in April with another one. Hopefully, it'll be warm enough to spray, guys. As as you saw, if you looked at my office tour video, guys, I've got a tower of them down there right now to get to. So, including some more of them for the star of our show. He's a big Lambo fan, so I've got some specifically for him. But I bought some models, guys, specifically so I could use certain spray paint colors as well. So we're going to have a lot of fun in 2019 doing some models. So it'll be very cool. Very cool. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this look at this, guys, and, and you can see the smaller scale is why I couldn't really easily do the painting. Uh, you really would have only seen the seats and maybe the door panels, which, I mean, what's the point, right? But guys, if you did enjoy this model and the look at, at constructing it, guys, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you have not done so already, guys. Hit the blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of latest content as it becomes available, guys. And we will certainly hope that YouTube will apprise you of that. Uh, guys, you can also follow us on our Twitter feed where I try to make sure that I update manually. Every time I post a video, sometimes I remember... Sometimes it, it takes me a little bit, guys. But we also have Twitter-specific content, so feel free to follow us there as well. Guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you prefer to watch. Some of you guys have left me some, some good comments, and I'm trying to incorporate some of the stuff, guys, that you're saying into what I'm doing. Right now, I'm, I'm looking more probably for comments about the filming style and what you guys are prefer to see. But really, any, any comments, guys, I, we would definitely love to hear from you guys as always. We try to look through all of them, so so if you guys are inclined, uh, please use a comment. Anyway, that's going to do it for us this time. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye.